Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll explain to you all you need to know about developing the user interface uh, through Dynamo in Revit. Uh, to develop this user interface, we have an external package uh, known as Data Shapes uh, that provides us with the various options to get inputs through user interface in Dynamo. So to get this package, you can go to the packages tab and then search for a package and uh, a window that will say syncing with server will appear and once the syncing with server is completed you can search any of your package over here so we are waiting for uh, syncing yes syncing is completed so we can uh, search uh, data shapes and we can click over here install latest version and install this package since i have already installed so i'll uh, just use it so in data shapes we have a user interface where we have a main multiple input form this form is uh, a multiple uh, form that is used for all the inputs for example for boolean color input drop down directory data so this form is used for all those inputs so after that we have an input section where we can get the boolean input color input conditional input data table sliders text box tree views image data file path so we can get various inputs from here and similarly we can select various things if you want to select some element some phase or some linked element in the Revit through dynamo so this user these nodes will provide us the user interface to that so now here i'll use uh, most common uh, uh, type of uh, inputs that we need so for example we have to get some input do you want print or so the default value is false we, you can select uh, you can change the default value as well and uh, similarly we have a color input where I say please select color uh, in drop down um, for example you want to want your user to input you with the variants of Revit so you can you can provide the drop down uh, data node to uh, ask the user to select some variant so here we have a keys and same as values we we can select some default value index and we can change the sort uh, sorted options as well similarly if we uh, uh, if we want some user to uh, provide us with a directory path where we can save some file or store some uh, data so this is the node that provides us the user interface for that we can also provide some default path uh, but uh, since uh, if no default path is provided uh, the directory path will be used similarly uh, for the slider we can have a minimum and maximum uh, value for example uh, I want the slider to work from 0 to 10 and then we have a default value that uh, can be like uh, 5 and then we have a step so I have I have to use a step of one uh, in the slider so minimum maximum default value and a step similarly we have uh, a node that uh, asks to select model elements data so uh, we can have any input name button text we can change that and then we have a category filter if you only want to select particular category for example uh, you only want to select uh, you know windows or doors so you can use this node of categories and uh, uh, sorry example doors so now it will only select the door and then we have select single element or select multiple elements so by default it can select multiple elements but if you want to select single element then uh, you would have to uh, provide a boolean node over here and set that to true and that would be default value so now I have created a list of all these inputs and provided it to a input form we can have a, a variable description for example, I say user input demo 
we can provide some uh, logo optional logo as well we can provide the button text that says a uh, default value so I can uh, provide that to like proceed we have input uh, toggle is basically uh, whether you want to run the uh, node or not so here we have to uh, select the boolean sorry to true and then we have uh, uh, sorry let me run this to manual then we have a link to help option if you want to create that and if you want to change the cancel button text this is also available you can also set the height and width and width of label in this form as well but we will go with the default value the uh, logo option is uh, only uh, you know uh, if, if there is no logo provided it would use the default logo of uh, data shapes itself so let me now run the script and uh, see what are the results that we generate from it so here here we have a default value do you want to print or not so you can change that by default it is set true we can select color as well like any color then we have variant of favorite which is uh, saying then we can select some directory i'll select for example this so directory is set now we can have some uh, slider values like how many repetitions of any process do you want and we can also select some model element by clicking over here and then clicking on that particular model element and since i have uh, set the category of doors only so it will select the only uh, it will select the only doors near to that uh, point and not uh, any other uh, element of any other category and similarly then since i have set the text to proceed it will now uh, uh, you know uh, proceed uh, we can proceed to move forward and we can use this information that we have uh, got through this interface we can use this information to any other uh, Revit process and any other dynamo uh, programming